Explore My World, Clouds, National Geographic for Kids. Look up, what do you see? Clouds, they float in the sky above lakes and seas, gracefully billowing in the breeze. Clouds dapple the skies above country lanes and city streets. They drift over and under high mountain peaks. When can you see clouds? Almost every day. You can see them in the morning and in the afternoon. You can see them at sunrise and sunset, glowing golden pink or rosy red, purple, orange, or blue. Peekaboo! You can even see the clouds at night playing hide and seek with the moon and stars. What are clouds made of? Water. They are made of millions of very tiny water droplets or bits of frozen water called ice crystals that float together in the sky. Clouds come in many different sizes and shapes. Here are the three main kinds. The green picture with number one is a cirrus cloud. It looks like wispy white brush strokes like you painted with white paint. Number two in the yellow and orange are stratus clouds. They look like fuzzy gray blankets stressed across the sky. And number three in the purple circle are cumulus clouds. They look like big fluffy cotton balls. Drip, drop. Clouds bring the rain that all plants and animals need to live. Flowers and frogs, trees and tigers all need rain. Rain happens when the water droplets in a cloud bump into each other and stick together. When they become too heavy to float in the sky, they fall down to earth as raindrops. When it's cold enough, clouds can bring snow. Snow starts out as ice crystals in a cloud and the crystals fall through the sky. They stick together and make snowflakes. One kind of cloud piles up high in the sky, towering like a giant castle. These clouds create storms with pouring rain, wild winds, lightning and thunder. Flash, crash, boom. These are called cumulonimbus clouds, also called thunderheads. Can you say cumulonimbus? If you were an eagle, you could fly through a cloud and feel wetness on your feathers, but you don't have to fly to feel a cloud. You can walk through one kind. It's called fog. Fog hangs low over land or water. Whether you are on the ground looking up at the clouds or in an airplane looking down at them, clouds are fascinating to watch. Here are some mysterious looking clouds from around the world. In the bright orange circle, those are bubble shaped clouds that hang from storm clouds. There are saucer shaped clouds that form near mountains. Sometimes light passing through clouds form a glowing circle around the moon called a moon dog. They also do it around the sun, sometimes called a sun dog. The rainbow colored patch in the cloud in the purple circle is called an iridescence. And the morning glory is an enormous roll-like cloud that only forms over Australia. When high winds blow, clouds sweep swiftly through the sky, changing shape as they go. Other times, clouds seem as still as statues, but if you keep looking, you'll see them change shapes. Clouds are always moving and changing. 
If you look at Earth from space, you would see that there are always clouds floating somewhere over our planet. During the day, clouds block the sun's heat, helping the Earth stay cool. And at night, clouds act like a blanket, helping the Earth stay warm. Thanks, clouds. Clouds bring us the rain we need to live. They fill the sky above us with beauty. How boring would the sky be without them? Be a cloud watcher. So here's your challenge for today. If it's nice out and you get a chance to go outside, you can look up at the sky. Lie down on your back and look for clouds. See if you can find little clouds, big clouds, Notice if they're moving fast or slow. Maybe even try and draw some of the clouds that you're looking at. And if you really think about it, you can look and see if you can find pictures or shapes in the clouds. This is something that Miss Heather loves to do. Sometimes you can see pictures that look like whales, hearts, an elephant maybe an eagle. Let's see if you guys can find something. 